What's up everyone? Big Dan here. Happy N7 day to all my Mass Effect fans out there. And I just want to make a quick video about a little bit of tidbits for the next Mass Effect game that Bioware just dropped on Instagram and Twitter about an hour ago at the time that I'm recording this. So Bioware made this post on Instagram at about 5 o'clock that says, We have another N7 day surprise for you from the team working on the next Mass Effect. Thank you all for being the best fans in the world. It includes this image that says Mass Effect will continue. Now there are some interesting details in this photo that we are going to break down one by one, starting with the ship right above the text at the bottom. Now when I was initially recording this video and saw this image, my first thought was, huh, that looks a lot like the Tempest from Mass Effect Andromeda. But upon comparing the two images side by side, it is actually a different ship. Now you will hear me refer to this ship as the Tempest a couple of times in this video. It is what it is, but looking at the ships, they are different. Also, it does kind of have a striking resemblance to the Hammerhead, but it just looks like another new Mass Effect ship. So it is what it is. Now, Bioware had hinted in the past during the reveal trailer that the next Mass Effect game would connect to Andromeda, but they never officially confirmed anything. So I pulled up a bigger version of the photo from the Mass Effect Twitter page so we can get a better look at this. So as we zoom in, we can see a few different figures standing outside the Tempest. We have one person walking ahead of three other individuals next to the Tempest. Now, in the bottom left-hand corner, we can see what looks like a giant... Krogan figure. Now, this is probably Drac, to be honest. Next to Drac, we also see a figure that kind of looks like they have a blue head. Let's zoom in a little bit more. So I would guess that this is PB right here. And then we have another figure here who I honestly can't tell. My guess is at the head of the pack here, that's got to be Ryder. Another theory is that perhaps the Krogan in this image is actually Rex and the Asari figure is Liara. Now, people are going to see what they want to see in this image, I think. It's entirely possible that it's Drac and PB, or Rex and Liara. You can draw your own conclusions. It might be two separate characters entirely. People are going to see what they want to see, and until we have more details on this game, we can't really know who's in this image. So if we scroll up the image a little bit, we'll see that the crew is walking towards a giant crater, and that there's something buried next to the crater. Now, what could this be? Well, zooming out could provide us with more clues. And a lot of people were speculating that, huh, this crater kind of looks like a Geth. So are the Geth also going to factor into the next Mass Effect game? And are the Geth going to factor into the Andromeda storyline specifically? But yeah, just taking a look at this crater, I mean, it looks like a Geth head. It's, I can't unsee it. Once you see it, you can't unsee it, right? And some other folks in the comments on Twitter and Instagram are speculating that perhaps this little thing that's buried here next to the crater, maybe that's a geth as well. I don't know. Is this actually a geth? Is it not a geth? Or is this sort of like a Jesus in the toast kind of moment? Uh, can't say for sure, but once you see these similarities, you really can't unsee it. Now, if the Geth are returning for the next Mass Effect game, that immediately brings up even more questions about the ending of Mass Effect 3 and how that entire story is going to tie into the next Mass Effect game. Now, again, we still have very few actual details about the next Mass Effect game. It's mostly speculation at this point, but based on some details we've seen in the trailers and how things are being set up for the next game, a lot of people, myself included, have speculated that the Destroy ending will be the canon from Mass Effect 3. And if this is the case, that would mean that the Geth were wiped out at the end of Mass Effect 3. So if Bioware is suggesting in these images, either implicitly or explicitly, that the Geth are coming back in the next Mass Effect game, it raises more questions about the ending of Mass Effect 3, and how all of this is also going to tie into Andromeda. So anyhow, just want to make a quick video to kind of address this image because it does raise some interesting points about the next Mass Effect game and what Bioware is working on. Again, lots of this is just speculation at this point, and Bioware is just dropping hints and things to tease us about the next game and get us excited for it. I'm curious to see what Bioware does with this story, but clearly they've got a lot of things in the works. 
If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to all my channel members for supporting my content. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.